I am going to do a short flight in Pakistan, which I have not done there. Just I just look at the map and I saw beautiful mountains um, between two airports, airfields. Um, the flight time is about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. It's a place called Razer um, and to Chitral. So Razzle, the um, ICAO code for uh, Razzle is um, O-A-R-Z, so Oscar Alpha Romeo Zulu, Zulu. and the destination is Alf Oscar Papa Charlie Hotel. Oh, as you can see, this is how it looks like. I never, not, I never been there. Let's see how it goes. Flight plan. Okay, I'm just going to show you the flight plan. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to step into the plane. Uh, we're going to do real weather. Uh, I guess the weather is fine. Um, it's based on little nav map. We're going to see the wind direction. But in the meantime, but until the wind direction is... Okay, but here, I got it. So wind is now um, two knots from 360. So we're taking off at 260. We're going to go straight out. Okay, let's go open up the um, map before. So it's between the mountains. So let's start from here. We need to get here and then turn right. So it's basically um, behind us. So what we will do, we will be flying out here, go into this little gorge, do that little U-turn and go back up. So if they look at it from here, it's like a little turn over here and then turn around over there. So there's like a right turn here. We're going to turn a little bit to the right, then turn left. Okay, now if we're going to go back to the map. We're going to follow the um, river bank um, between the mountains, slowly climbing to about 13,000 feet, maybe a little bit more. Um, and then we can do a straight over the mountains to the other valley. Um, in order to get to our approach, which is here to the airport. Uh, that's why I had to do a little windy route here in between the mountains. I'll be able to gain altitude in the meantime. So let's see how it'll work out. Seems to be, might, it might be a little bit short. If you're going to look behind us, it's actually here. So let's close this thing. We have to take around here. It looks very... Sh the, mount the hills don't look that high over here but once we cross that area you'll see it's actually really high all right so let's uh, do it let's see how it works how it goes out how's okay speed brakes flaps let's do flaps one notch of flaps and let's go for it releasing speed brake and let's go full throttle It's not really a runway here, so... I guess it's a dirt rum... Okay, we're having a little positive rate, so let's lift up our gear. As you can see, we're going to go around here into this little valley in order for us to do a U-turn. Let's trim a bit. That oh, looks pretty nice, I must say. Let's retract the flaps, reduce the RPM, a little bit of power, and let's start our um, turn. It 
looks pretty nice. Okay, let's go back. I want to make sure that I'm flying the airplane correctly. I need a look. I must say it looks really amazing. Okay, so here's our airport. Let's do a little subtle climb. Okay, so you can see the mountains here. Uh, then we're going to come higher. You can see the peak. So if we're going to have a little external view. Okay, let's open up the map. So we're following the lines. The scenery is absolutely beautiful here, and uh, I think those are Himalayas in Pakistan. Absolutely beautiful, the scenery here. Okay, we need more altitude. We're gonna gain a little bit more altitude slowly. We still have time, so it'll be a subtle gain of altitude. We're going to be turning left here, where my mouse cursor is. If you can see from the external view. Well, now it's going to become a bit more snowy. So you'll less see the beauty of it. I don't know, for some reason it looks like... Once we hit the snowy area... It will look pretty much like, the old, like all the other simulators, like the prepared and the X-Plane. It won't have that immersion of beauty that MSFS knows how to basically wear chines. It doesn't have that. I guess the photo scenery is covered by snow layer. As you can see, if we look at it here, it's pretty much like prepared. And um, explain, maybe more like prepared there and those mountains again it's like prepared with very good mesh it's pretty windy
So we're we gonna be turning right over here in the valley. Um, we still need to gain some altitude because we need to basically be on, be beyond those Kla mountain level because we're gonna have to fly over those. Let's trim up a bit. We still have to climb further. I need to reach around that altitude in order to be able to cross all those mountains. So let's see, our speed is not the best as well. When I said 13,000, I guess I did not really. Um, I thought we were in a lower elevation. Anyways. We need to get, since it's kind of a VFR style, so I don't care about altitude. But basically, we need to get to those, we need to pass those mountains because we're going to be turning left here. Alright, let's see. Okay, so we're going to be, I think we're pretty much already um, coming to the altitude we're desiring. Okay, I want to cross through here and then that way. So I'm going to take a little right here. I think we can start... Uh, lowering down our nose a bit for a more, more subtle climb okay now it's going to be extremely windy because of the mountains all right I think we can level out here. Okay, let's trim it down a bit. Try to level it up. I'm not flying with autopilot, so it'll be a bit of a challenge. Okay, let me um, pull the map again. So we're basically here, and the reason why I'm not flying directly because I don't have enough. I need some time, some distance in order to lower down. I mean to lose altitude. So we're gonna go into this valley, and we're gonna follow those until I'm able to reach the airport here, and hopefully say land safely. 
I think it will be pretty challenging. Okay, in the meantime, I want to level off. Was too busy talking. Ooh, it's pretty windy. Here, let's zoom out the map. I don't remember ever flying at that altitude of about 17,000 feet on that airplane. And that's like the minimum altitude I can even be here. And you can see it's pretty windy. My airplane is dancing samba. Okay, I think we're about to hit the valley. Here, I think it will be. And I think it's time to, once I cross this little hill, I'll start uh, descending. Because I don't have much um, distance, and I think I need to lose a lot of altitude. Did I pass that one? Yeah, I think I can. By the way, there's elevation issues. I've noticed since the new update. Um, so you can see all those spikes and stuff. We'll see it more along the way. I think there's there are more over here. So I guess we're going to have to ignore those for a while. Here they are, you can see. I've, no, I, I've read it's a many places across the globe it's not unique to here so okay let's cut down the uh, throttle a bit reduce a bit the rpm and start our descend we don't have much time because i think the airport is like around here to the right so i think it's like here and that's it it's the airport
It's pretty bumpy. I have a feeling it'll be a total disaster this landing. Well, we'll see. Okay, here you can see the elevation issues. It's like a snake. Or a Chinese dragon. See how it builds up? Anyway. Okay, we got seven miles to this valley, then we're turning right for another three and a half miles. And then another time again right for another two miles. And about three miles after that we're at the airport. So this is seven miles, this is about two, this is about three altogether. So I guess we can lose altitude a bit slower. We still got time. Shall we enjoy the scenery in the meantime? And the elevation issues? Okay, this is cool. There's like a wall, and then there's a ditch. It was supposed to be pretty flat, but now it's curved into the ground. And the housing is pretty much caught in between. It's like Sodom and Gomorrah. That, that it's from the Bible. How the earth swallowed those two cities. Almost there, about estimated seven minutes. Oh, let's give it ten. Hopefully, uh, Microsoft will fix those elevation issues they broke um, uh, with their new update. Okay, returning right here. Absolutely beautiful. Not too right. But we're going to crash into the hill. Let's go a little bit. Zoom out. Okay, we need to prepare for our approach. Let's descend further. Oh, 
Okay, do you see the end of this? I think it's the airport is right at that when we do the turn. You know, what? even even before that, we might have to. Well, I think the airport is actually here. Okay, so we can't do a straight in, so we'll let's start descending and we'll do um, a left base or right base, whatever you call it. We'll do a circle to land. Because I can't do a straight in, I'm too high. I was not prepared. Could have been cool if we could have done. Let's see how if a straight in would work. Oh, that could have worked really nice. Okay, let's fly over the airport. And we'll do, we'll fly like this, and we'll circle like that, and we'll go in. Okay, so let's go into the middle. Because we want to aim to be here, turn around like that, and come in. I'm gonna the props a little bit further more in order um, to have some drag but I don't think it actually um, affects in this sim Let's lower our flaps already. Okay, I think we need to turn around. Okay. Gear down. Hopefully I'm not too high. Let's put the uh, props full to get more drag. Ooh, look at it. I don't know if it's a real waterfall or it's an elevation issues. I must see that. Wow. Looks cool though, must say. have to straight the last minute I wasn't paying attention because there's no reverses in this airplane, so let's uh, it's just subtle braking. Well, at least it wasn't a disaster. A 
But look at it, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at those mountains. I highly recommend trying to um, explore that area. Just go to the main menu, just pick some locations, you know, those little shiny dots in the middle of nowhere. Just pick one and then pick another one and, uh, and do that flight. The other option, which I do, is open up the little uh, nav map. Uh, just uh, put on open topo map mode. That's where you can see a mountain elevation and just like pick locations. It looks like really cool. Look for little airports there and just uh, create a departure and arrival based on that. And I do my flight plan clicking the GPS between those airports just to go between the mountains. So I would highly recommend trying to do that. This is absolutely stunning. Look at this. This is Pakistan. So I guess this is part of the Himalayas. Because I'm looking out. I'm not even watching it. Um, I think the terminal is supposed to be on my right. No, on my left. Based on little nav map. So we're backtracking. Oh, there isn't any terminal. Okay, the, the airport does apparently have a small terminal on my left. The one on the right, I think it's not relevant. It's just housing. Um, but in the simulator itself, apparently there, aren't, there isn't any. I love that waterfall. I think it was a glitch, but it actually was very cool. Hey, look at those cars. Ah, here's the terminal, I think, here on the left. Absolutely beautiful here. So here's the terminal. Where are we heading? Okay, let's go directly to him. I guess in the diagonal. Oh, he's saying going to the right. I think I got it right. Understand his hand signaling. Come on. Alright, cutting engines. Okay, speed brakes. Feather. And cutting the engines. Ah, oh, that looks beautiful. Let's let's do a little tour outside. So this is Pakistan. Um, the this is airport is called Chitral Oscar Papa Charlie Hotel. Um, if you want, I'll be uploading this to my YouTube. I'll put also my the flight plan for this route if you want to fly the same thing that I did. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back maybe later with some other flights. I just need to do some work in the meantime. Anyways, take care, guys. Bye.